Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really fun to share with you. This is a video that I have never ever filmed for my channel before. I don't think I've done any content like this before, but weddings are back up and running in the UK this summer and I am very excited about that. And in the past, I, some of you may know, if you've watched my videos for years, I have always had the same self-portrait dresses in my kind of like wedding guest dress collection. I have the azalea dress in a baby pink and then also in a burgundy so I have my perfect like summer wedding guest dress and perfect winter wedding guest dress. Sadly they are too big for me at the moment and though lots of people suggested adjusting them I am not keen on that because I would quite like to have them in the size that they are just in case I do go up a size. I don't really want to take them in and alter them to the size that I am now just in case and I have had those dresses for a long time. They've got great cost per wear and I will always have them in my wardrobe. Maybe if I stay the same dress size for a long period of time like another couple of years then I will think about having them readjusted even maybe another year I will maybe have them adjusted but right now I didn't want to do like a whole knee-jerk reaction and adjust the dresses and then need them like unadjusted I don't even know if that's physically possible so with that in mind I actually started with the shoes this time which is not something that I normally do for any event that I need to dress up for. I picked up the Gaia Couture Rosie Huntington Whiteley shoes that she's done a whole range with them. I think it's Gaia, but these are just stunning. I think you will have seen these in a vlog already. I will link that at the top of the screen if you wanna whoop, go and watch it because I picked up another pair of shoes from this range as well. And I'm so excited to wear them. I love the vibe of these shoes. They're so cool, so minimalist. These are so summery and like really IB3. I will 100% get the wear of this. Shoes like this are just, my jam. So they're very neutral, very summery. They're a nice nod to like a rattan vibe without actually being a rattan material, which I really like. I think these would work really nicely throughout all different seasons, all different seasons, all the seasons. I think these will work beautifully and they're a really nice like tone. I think will just kind of blend and really elongate my leg very, very nicely. So those are the shoes which were my kind of starting point for the outfit. I will link them in the info box in case you're looking to invest in a nice pair of heels. They're very, very comfortable, which I'm very happy with. I picked up a couple of dresses in various different price ranges. So we have kind of like high street, your like high end, high street i don't even know whether to call it like high end but that kind of around the 100 pound mark and then we have the more luxury dresses which i think are ranging from like 250 upwards so i think i'm going to get started with the more affordable pieces and i'll work my way up this first dress is so beautiful you will definitely see like a slight running theme throughout the dresses that I've picked. I really love a silky material. I just think it's one of the easiest ways to look very, very chic. And I love this one in particular because I love a long sleeve. A long sleeve maxi or midi or even a mini dress. Like I just love a long sleeve. I feel like they are so classic and they work really nicely in the UK, especially for whatever the weather. Basically everything apart from a heat wave, which I have just never had good luck with weddings and it actually being warm on the day so i generally tend to err on the side of caution slightly yeah this one is from asos it is so gorgeous it's this beautiful like goldy yellowy color it looks far more expensive than it is i don't know how it's going to show up on camera but it looks so much more expensive than it is it's one of those dresses which i think is going to potentially be a bit too long but i could potentially take it up and it might actually just be fine with my highest heels and i will just be in pain and accept that. However, if I wanna wear my lovely new shoes, this one may not be the one, but I do just think it's so gorgeous and I couldn't resist picking it up and sharing it with you guys and trying it on because it might just be one of those ones that I decide to keep aside for other things as well. It's just really, really beautiful. So I have got my highest heels on with this dress, which actually hasn't made that much more of a difference than the Guy of Chore ones, which is making me want to retire my worst out tribute sandals because they have such a big platform and they can be quite difficult to walk in. Like I feel like I have to train to walk in them. And obviously I have not worn them now in such a long time. It's coming up to maybe like two years. So I am definitely, I am untrained <laughs> to walk in heels this high. Whereas the Guy of Chore ones are so easy to walk in. I feel so comfortable in them. And they're actually still very high. So yeah, just an update on those shoes really great them so easy to walk in and so comfortable compared to these and it hasn't made that much difference in terms of the height for this dress either unfortunately it is a little bit long which is why i have had to put on my highest heels as you can see the dress just about like grazes the floor which is not ideal because you can end up stepping 
on the dress. It has a little bit of a slit at the back, which is great for movement, so nowhere near as bad as the House of CB dress, but as you can see here, there is like a little, I'm slightly stepping on the dress. So this is probably gonna be a no-go for me just because I will have to have it altered on top of buying the dress. And for me, there are so many great dresses in this edit that I think I'll just pick one that already is a suitable length. However, the color of this is gorgeous. For a summer wedding, it obviously has longer sleeves. So depending on location, this might not be appropriate. If it is a very warm day, you may be sweltering underneath this. However, if you like a long sleeve and long sleeves are like a necessity for you in terms of event dresses, this would be one of my choices, one of my top, top choices because it's so beautiful. And if you're over, like if you're five foot three or up, have the right heels, I think you can get away with wearing this dress. It's literally just like, Anyone five foot two and under, this dress is sadly a no-go. And I've just paired it with these earrings from Zara. I love these so much. I don't know if I'll be able to find a dupe for these because they are, I think, about a year or so old now. But yeah, they're so gorgeous. They work really beautifully with the dress. And then I've also gone for my little YSL bag because it matches perfectly. Next we have a little bit of print. I think this is literally the only real print you're going to see in this video. I loved this dress. They're really hard to show you guys because they just keep slipping. This is a beautiful like sheer long sleeved midi dress and it's like in this nudie tone but then it's got like a black floral in it and I really enjoy this because I love wearing black or white and one of my gripes with weddings is you obviously can't wear black or white unless instructed to obviously. I personally would happily have my guests wear white and neutrals because it would just annoy me in the photos if someone was wearing bright turquoise. I know not everyone is the same and some people want their guests wearing like very bright colours but I really like the fact that this is like a lovely kind of like blushy neutral on the base and then you have a black floral which kind of caters to my taste but also the nude makes it wedding appropriate. This one is probably the most frilly of all of the dresses that I have picked up. It's definitely a bit of a wild card really in terms of the general theme that I've gone for but I just really loved the overall like print of it. I just think it's so so pretty. So this one is meant to be more of a midi dress, I believe, but on me, it will definitely be like a maxi. For reference, if you're new here, I'm five foot two. But yeah, it's really beautiful. It's got this lovely kind of like V cut, which I think is really flattering, especially when you've got like a long sleeve and then a long skirt as well. And it's not particularly like fitted or anything. So that V neckline and V backline, it's got the um, little tie at the back, but then you've got a V back so it's slightly lower but not too low just allows for a little bit more shape and I just think it's really beautiful so I will show you guys what this looks like on now I got this one in a size 8 and I got the yellow one in a size 8 also so this one I love if you are looking for something that is long sleeve like midi length obviously on me it's slightly longer than midi if I wasn't wearing the heels I think it might be a bit too much on me but if you had a little bit more height I think it would look gorgeous with flats actually I think this could look gorgeous with flats on anyone to be honest it is so beautiful it has this lovely tie waist I don't know if you're going to be able to see the little tassels on it which I have tied at the back you could tie at the front and have them dangling down I just wanted the look to be a little bit neater because we're working with a print and so I just wanted to take the extra detailing away from it slightly I paired it with the Gaia Couture Field Sandals again and then I've got my little beige YSL bag just to add some structure in terms of like the square shape but it's a nice neutral tone so it's not distracting it too much from the outfit at all and then in terms of earrings I've just kind of left my ears bare because I don't wear a print often and I do think I like to keep it a little bit more simple if I'm wearing a print and I've got a dress that has like a bit of a frill to it I just like to keep the look a little bit more minimal personally this is a really beautiful dress that you would get a lot of wear out of if you are a bit like me have an aversion to color but want something that is a little bit more like romantic still covers you up and it is appropriate for a number of different dressy occasions without being too glam this one is really nice if you aren't so into like the glam dressing which i i love but i understand it's not for every wedding and this would personally be my choice if i was going to something that was a little bit more casual in its vibe i'm going to put together a few little tips of mine for shopping for this kind of occasion in the blog post but one thing that i always like to do is check the wedding venue i'll just google it from the invite and almost like dress to match the venue if i haven't been told a specific dress code so yeah if i was going somewhere a little bit more low-key or i just wanted to be more low-key for whatever reason this would be my dress choice i absolutely love it and then finally this one's a little bit more wild than the other ones from asos because this one does not have sleeves so this is like an asymmetric 
little i'm gonna say midi dress but it's gonna be a maxi dress on me it's got a very low back like i know this isn't gonna be one that is a real crowd pleaser for everyone because the whole like bra situation is definitely a little bit more trickier uh slash non-existent in this case for me i personally don't mind that but i know that i am a slight rarity in that case but if you aren't in need of lift so much but more coverage you can definitely get little covers that you can put over your chest or there are like strapless stick on bras I'll probably just wing it to be honest making the most of my good years I've got left yeah I just really love this one I love the color of it I think it's really beautiful and that kind of like silky texture I think it's just like one of the easiest ways to look very pulled together very easily at a wedding it just looks a little bit more expensive than it actually is when you're buying high street okay so this dress might be one of my favorites I feel like this was competing with another very similar dress that you will see later on in the video honestly I'm not sure we'll have to see once I try the other dress on but I love this like I love it I love the color like I said I think I might have said in the main bulk of this video I've had this dress before for a shoot but in a different color it was a much more like brownie tone but this is so beautiful this is actually like what I would class as my favorite color pink like this lovely kind of burnt terracotta pink I've still got the little hanger things on under here because i haven't cut them out yet because i am still making some decisions i love it i love the low back i think it's so beautiful you're gonna have to wear like low cut briefs with this because it is a very low back dress but i really like the neckline it's actually very like really holds me in like i bent over and nothing went crazy which is a good sign and i love the way it kind of like ruches and sits i think this would do a good job of hiding a food baby which always pleases me it does have a thigh slit which some people will love some people will hate i personally really like it works really well in photos gives you a lot of movement when you're actually walking so fairly practical as well and this one isn't too high and is kind of positioned to the side so you don't have to worry too much about flashing people basically i've gone for tan tones with this dress but you could also add a pop of color with this kind of tone as well even though this is a color it also works really nicely as a neutral as well because it's that lovely kind of like burnt tone it's not too bright so you can really add in a lot of color to this if you wanted to in terms of with your accessories i think that would be really beautiful yeah i really like this one what do you think let me know is this one of your favorites do you think it's too dressy every wedding is so different like some weddings are super like casual and just like little kind of like floaty floral dresses very very cash and even the wedding party is very casual and then some weddings are like full on so i'd actually love to know if you've got a wedding coming up like what is the vibe let me know i'd love to kind of see if there's one that's more common than the other i would love to know by the way i forgot to say i'm actually working on a guide at the moment on my blog basically like a full directory for this summer's wedding guest dress options and it's going to be divided into like different vibes tall petite like maternity plus size like the whole thing like it's all separated so if you want to see a full directory of loads of dresses that i've kind of picked in my edit then definitely head over to my blog i will link it in the info box below for you okay next this is gonna need a steam hello old friend this is a dress that i've actually owned before i think i maybe owned it in a different color to this if my memory serves me right but anyway this dress is just stunning i actually picked this up as a i'm having this regardless of whether i wear this to this wedding because it was such a lovely piece to have in my wardrobe and i'll pop a picture of me wearing i think it was this dress if not it was very very similar to this dress but i'll pop a picture of me wearing it here i think the color was slightly different more of a champagne whereas this is slightly more blushy champagne toned i think they may have changed the material maybe but yes this lovely sleeveless plunge neck kind of like satiny dress and it actually has like a little leg slit and it's like kind of like that very ruched long midi dress that has like a slit it really gives you like a lot of shape as you will have seen in the instagram photo i'm interested to see what it looks like on me now but it's just such a beautiful shape and silhouette and i know this would be a go-to for me now that the world is opening back up i might actually have to go to things and i think this would be a real gem to have in my wardrobe and looking back at past outfits it's just one of those outfits that looked so beautiful and i felt really good in so i'm excited to try it on and see how it looks now okay so this is our little silky wrap dress from house of cb 
I love this one. I actually love it more than when I had it the last time around. It has this lovely dipped back, which is really cute. And then it's like a wrap style around the chest, which I think is so beautiful. And then a wrap style skirt as well. It's really simple, really gorgeous. Depending on your wedding that you're going to and your personal preferences, your bride's preferences, this could either be a great one or a no-go. It's one of those in-between dresses. Like I said before, every wedding is so very different. So it is a little bit hard to gauge, but this is a great one for me to have in my events dress wardrobe anyway and it is also a real banger when it comes to what do I wear to a wedding I just absolutely love it it's just the most gorgeous tone it looks much more blush I think on me than when I like hold it in my hands and it's not on me and yeah I think it's like the perfect really simple tone for a wedding if you're one of those people that likes wearing black or white and feels a little bit out of their comfort zone in a color or a print so this one is a little bit more of a wild card i would say out of all of the dresses in terms of the fit all of the others are kind of like figure skimming i would say whereas this is very like figure hugging some would say not ideal for a wedding if you're going to the dinner bit however the vegetarian options do always tend to be quite light so it's not something i am particularly worried about going forward yeah it's got this cut out on the waist which i don't think will be as obvious once it's on and it's got like a lovely double shoulder strap kind of thing going on to be honest this is probably the one that i am most on the fence about but i really love the color and if i do feel really good in it because that is one of the most important things when it comes to wedding is that you obviously honor like your dress code so if you are you know asked to wear certain colors but it's also important that if you are someone that just doesn't feel super comfortable when dressed up doesn't particularly like wearing color like i know so many people that just wear black and when they're asked to wear something that's not black they feel so out of their depth i definitely feel that because i love a monochrome palette and i do also find that some of the dresses that i love in my style aren't really available on the high street in something that's not black or white the companies don't tend to invest in those styles in a color because you know profit margins and stuff it does make it harder for me to find the styles of dresses that i love and feel most comfortable in so with that in mind if i did feel comfortable in this one like really comfortable really great i would keep this one because i actually have a winter wedding not this year next year but i do think this color would work really nicely for a winter wedding because it's actually a lot more autumnal than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a much lighter brown i think you can definitely see a real color palette but if I have to wear colour, these are the kind of tones that I personally am going to opt for purely because they work so nicely with like my skin tone and I know I feel comfortable in those colours, if that makes sense. Okay, so this one <laughs> is an absolute no in terms of mobility. I can literally walk like one foot in front of the other no further. This is a little bit of a joke. This is such a lovely cinched in dress, but it gives zero movement because of that. It's that real kind of tight band material. I, as you can see, I have left the little House of CV tag in because this one is going to have to go back because I just can't be the person that's walking at half the speed of everyone else. It's ridiculous. And to be fair, it was the one that I was the most unsure about anyway. I just did like it in terms of planning for a winter wedding. I thought it could be really gorgeous. But I think equally there are so many other dresses in this video because it is basically the wedding guest outfit video for people that have an aversion to colour. I think all of the dresses, to be fair, pair quite well for a winter wedding. So I definitely have so many options. Maybe everything apart from the orange dress because that is definitely more of a summer wedding guest dress. I feel like I've said wedding dress in this video. <laughs> Real slip of the tongue. Everything apart from the self-portrait azalea dress I think would be perfect and work really well between both summer and winter weddings because they just Oh, that's slightly lacking in colour but that is the kind of person that I am people. Also just to backtrack slightly I am well aware that this to some brides would be considered a no because it's too light. I'm just going to put it out there always just check with your bride that is what I've done for literally every wedding I've ever been to I've always just sent a snap being like is this okay? I always say I've got plenty of options T just tell me honestly yes or no are you happy with this like is this your bridesmaid's dress colour for example but like I said I picked this up regardless because I will wear this to any event ever i just think it's a great piece to have in my wardrobe but yeah as you can see i definitely have a real color palette of tones that i feel very very comfortable in but yeah moving on i have something that is veering off of the color palette slightly so we obviously know how much i love my self-portrait dresses so i spotted this and i was like do you know what i'll just try it on i'll just see this one is actually shorter and i have to say i don't love personally i don't love wearing short dresses to a wedding. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know what it is. I love a long dress at a wedding. I think there's so few occasions where you get to wear one and obviously like I want what I'm wearing to feel like appropriate for the wedding as well. But I thought I'd pick this one up in the orange and just see because actually Honestly, I am quite sure. So this probably won't be super, super short on me. I would actually be shocked if it was. Most high-end dresses that are like mini dresses don't, they're not, they're not. And I think this is another reason why I tend to opt for longer dresses because I know that it's gonna be long and I can work with that. But short dresses generally do really annoy me. I've just given up on that life now, quite frankly. But yeah, I just thought this was beautiful and I love, basically warm tones on me are the one to go for. I always feel super comfortable in a warm tone and I love, love love an orange this with my little yellow ysl bag would be so cute but yeah just as an option i thought i'd give it a try because it's really beautiful and i know how well these dresses last and how beautifully they are made and that the fit is just always so beautiful i say that now i'm really scared that this is going to be the one anomaly but my self-portrait dresses that i've had in the past have just always been so bang on and so so beautiful i'll put a picture of my pink i actually think i have pictures in both the pink and the burgundy so i'll put them here i love them and they've always just felt so worth the investment to me so we'll see how that one fits okay so this dress i love i feel so cute in this i am deliberating whether i'd always get so much use out of it in terms of weddings because of the bright color but i can see this potentially being worn to other work type events this isn't one that just lends itself to being like a wedding appropriate dress i think i could get away with wearing this a lot this could even be a really nice one for like if you're going out for a nice dinner on a summer holiday kind of vibe. I think it's so pretty and the length of it makes it slightly less formal and just ever so slightly more wearable for other occasions within my lifestyle. But yeah, the color does lend it very strongly to summer only occasions in my opinion. So I am just kind of deliberating whether it is worth keeping. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. I also do kind of take the longevity of this dress in terms of like the fact that I'm getting a little bit older into account. Like I feel really cute in this right now, but will I feel really cute in this right now in five years or will I want something that gives a little bit more coverage? I don't know. And I really try and think about that at the moment in terms of adding items into my wardrobe is am I gonna still want to wear this in like five years time? And this one I'm just not, not so sure whether it would have that longevity in my wardrobe. Whereas the longer versions of this, I could see myself wearing year upon year upon year because they do add that little bit more coverage. Yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. It's so beautiful. I got the eight, I believe, and it's still a little bit big around the chest area which just goes to show how much bigger the 10 would have been but yeah it's so beautiful i love the orange color i just think it works really really nicely and i paired it with the little yellow salmon bag i am kind of on the fence about how well it works with the shoes i actually think i have a pair of like bottega-esque very simple like plain kind of shoes with the square toe. Those mules in the same color, they just kind of blend really seamlessly with my leg and just elongate the leg really nicely. And they're so simple. I think they would probably be a pair of shoes that I'd be more inclined to pair with this dress just because the lace on it is the wow factor. And because of that, I also kept my jewelry really simple as well. So I've just gone for a little tiny anklet and I've also got on these really tiny hoop earrings that I believe are from Astrid and Miu. And I also need to mention I put my hair up today on purpose because I think it's always great to pick a dress that works well with a hair up kind of hairstyle just in case on the day you end up with some really poor weather and have to kind of like make a last minute change of plans in terms of hair. I always like to bank on having my hair pulled off my face or styled in some kind of way where you won't just have hair across your face in photos if it's very, very windy. But yeah, it's pretty really pretty i love these dresses i would highly recommend these if you're ever looking for any kind of events dress let me know what you think of this in the comments and then finally this one might break my heart this is my one that i've been the most excited for oh, it's so pretty <sighs> this could be one that just doesn't work with my height i'm not sure however i thought i'd give it a go anyway you know research for you guys so this is the most beautiful lightweight silk dress from Olivia Von Hale. They are known for like their, their silk, you know? I actually have a couple of pairs of their pajamas that I've been gifted in the past and they are just unreal. The reason I love this slip dress is because it has these beautiful chain straps and I just think that it is 
so gorgeous that that color is just beautiful so i'm very excited to try this on it is definitely going to be full length on me it was kind of like that weird midi above the ankle ish point on the model i'll pop a picture here and i was looking at it like mm, this might not work on me and I do want a slip dress. If I wear a slip dress, I do want one that just falls. I don't want to, you know, try and do the whole like belt thing to like cinch it up a bit or like tuck it or, you know, I don't want to do any of that. I would love to have that really lovely silhouette and like that beautiful silky like drop that you get with a silk cami dress. I have one that I love so much in black. It is the dream, but I obviously can't wear that to a wedding and I used to own it in yellow and I'm so angry at myself because I actually got something on it. I think it was in a suitcase and it got something on it. This is why like none of my event dresses ever survive because I have to travel with them. I should really like invest in like vacuum seal travel bags. That would be ideal. Anyway, I know it's a style I love. It just looks so beautiful, so elegant. Okay, so now is the time people cast your votes. Which of the two little kind of silky slip dresses do you like the best? I have to say the material of this because it is obviously actual silk is just beyond gorgeous and I love the strap detail oh, I love the strap detail on this so much and the neckline is so beautiful it's really simple it's so smooth like the way the silk falls it's so gorgeous and I do think this feels a little bit more like streamlining on my silhouette and it's a little bit more simple in its cut as well it obviously has no slit no ruching the back is really really simple as well I've left the tags on because this is not the kind of dress that you just kind of like take the tag off of if you're unsure you know so I need you guys to cast your vote we need to make some decisions but this is just so beautiful I love the colour it's that real like liquid gold kind of colour. This one I don't think is going to be so forgiving if you have a foo baby. It has a little bit of room. I believe I got this in a size 8. I just love the way the material kind of like falls and ripples. It's so beautiful. I paired it with my Saint Laurent yellow bag, which I know I say yellow and people are like, that's not yellow. They call it yellow, so I'm going to go with what they call it. But it's this beautiful golden kind of sunset yellow tone. And I think that complements the dress so well. The dress still works beautifully with the shoes too, just like really simple so that the shoes and then the chain strap on the dress can do the talking. I've kept my bag really simple too. Yeah, I absolutely love this. I actually feel like this one feels more simple and more casual than the other slip dress. The neckline on the other one, that asymmetric slip dress was so beautiful but that and the slip on the leg did lend it to being a little bit more formal a little bit more glam a little bit more dressy whereas this is slightly more casual and understated in its cut and yeah it's very very elegant but that little bit more casual that i feel like i could also get wear out of this on so many other occasions as well other than a wedding whereas the other dress i couldn't however the other dress is a lot more affordable so need to weigh that up this one costs a lot more but is a lot more versatile Oh, and in terms of jewellery, I'm wearing these earrings from And Other Stories, and I'm wearing Ashley Mew bracelets and a necklace, which is a matching necklace, and I've just wrapped it around so that it's like super chunky. It ties in nicely with the chain detailing on the dress. I actually wore this with the other slip dress as well. But I switched my earrings out. The earrings with the slip dress were Ashley Mew, whereas these are and other stories and i just kept my neck bare and kept it really nice and simple so i hope you guys have enjoyed my wedding guest dress try on that is so so difficult to say please let me know in the comments which were your favorites and also head over to my blog where i have the full directory of like my recommendations for different wedding guest dresses all of these are obviously like things that i personally would wear and very much in my style so just to give you an idea of like my kind of vibe for a wedding but the directory will have like full different ranges like really bold colorful outfits longer dresses shorter dresses the whole shebang i hope you guys are all having the most lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye